Hello everybody, Dead Spikes here with Arc TV, and I got a video that I actually put a decent amount of time into for you guys. I'm going to be going over what I'm going to be doing on day one of Arc Ascended as a PvE player. I will be starting the game as a PvE player, and I'm just going to walk you guys through my chain of events that I'm going to do. Maybe it'll help some of you out. Explorer not of the day! Anyone who could tell me which explorer note this one is right here, will get a pinned comment. Alright, so step one, I just spawned into the island. What I'm going to be doing is farming some trees and bushes, and I'm going to start doing some chest farming. Preferably, I would do an explorer note run if explorer notes were still to play, but they could be getting changed. So, I will definitely just be doing chest farming right off the rip. If you haven't had an in-depth in tutorial on this yet, it is in my XP video that I posted a few days ago. But essentially, you just save up all the stuff to make a bunch of these little storages. And you put them on your hotbar, and all you do is you place them, and demolish them. And then you build them and just keep demolishing them. And this is what I find to be the best XP method early game. While I'm leveling here, I'll be putting points into weight, stam, and health. Possibly a little bit of fortitude, but I'm definitely mostly putting into weight. Because that's going to help me level more. Once I have reached my level threshold, now to be fair, I could be doing this while I'm leveling. But next, I'm going to farm narcotics with either a trike or a parasaur. Tame either of these two things, and they can farm berries decently. Get spoiled meat just from killing random creatures while you're getting hide. Stick them into the mortar and pestle and save up some narcotics. After that point, I'm going to farm up some starter tools. Try to get up to 100 narcotic. And a nice little starter base like this. Should be pretty easy to get the metal you need just from rocks nearby. Step four is going to be run up and down the beach line until I find me a nice pteranodon. These are pretty easy to tame. You just bolo them, pull out your crossbow. Should be one shot in the head. It's a higher level, it might take two. After it's knocked out, feed it some meat and just narcotics, and it should be an easy tame after a little while. Using the pteranodon and this nice little trap I like to use. I will immediately go and tame an Argentavis. Very easy to knock out with this method. I just came to the Redwoods right in the middle and made this nice little contraption. I probably will make a whole video on taming Argentavis in the future just to go a little bit more in depth on how to pull this off. Uh, it should be knocked out here soon. There we go. And then we just give it meat and narcotics and it's tamed. I would use my Argentavis and Pteranodon to find a base location, and then I'm going to mark it with either some foundations or pillars, just like this. Alright, since we have the Argentavis and a little base, I'm going to then tame the three farmers I use for farming material. We got the Doetacris, the Mammoth, and the Anki. The Mammoth's going to be the hard one, you're going to have to walk it across the land or raft it to your area. The other two, you can use the Argentavis to pick it up, bring it over to your area, and you can knock it out, or make a pen for it and knock it out. Both pretty easy. Well, now that we have all the farming dinos, we're gonna build a decent sized base. Put on in spike walls of the behemoth gate, just to keep all of our dinos safe. All right, so we're right in the action here of taming a UD. I'm going to show you guys a nice little trick to tame a UD. Hopefully it turns out okay. I tried to kill all the carnals off around it, so it's just the UD left. I'm going to grab aggro that UD. Stuck on some Daedons there. Oh, they might kill it. Here we go, we got the UD's attention. We're gonna run through here. Get it into a nice billboard trap. And place down the last few billboards. Uh, yep, just like that. There you go, you got a trapped UD. At this point, you could level up to long neck rifle, like me. 
Or you probably could just use a crossbow to do the same thing. Uh, looks like my Argentavis is getting attacked. Let's just kill this here. There we go, Encarno. Alright, there we go. Back to taming the UD. As you can see, he just simply can't move. You're going to want to tame a mating pair, too. Oh, he's being a pain to hit. There we go. Hopefully we don't kill it here. Move to the side a little bit. There we go. Dying from cold. I should have brought some food and red brews. Well, I guess I have food. That should help me stay alive a little better. A little campfire would have been okay. Oh, looks like it's probably going to get knocked out soon. Stop attacking. There you go. That's how you knock out and tame a UD very easily. It was only a level 3 to be fair. But I mean, that would work on any level. I just give it meat and narcotics and boom, you got a tamed UD. Alright, so after you get a male and female, like I do here, you will be able to breed your egg. Now, to be fair, you can get as many females as you would like. Like, ideally, you want 10 to 20 UDs with one male to be able to make 10 to 20 kibble a day. They can only breed about once a day on official, so be used to that. They'll drop this egg, and this egg right here can be used to make the best kibble in the game, called Extraordinary Kibble. Now, this tames 95% of the species in this game the fastest. I'll show you the recipe for it here real quick. Right there, extraordinary kibble. You can see it, you can use any of these dino's eggs. Mix it with honey, Lazarus chowder, metal berries, fiber, and water skin in a cooking pot, and you will make this kibble. Now with having this kibble unlocked, honestly, I'm done. I would say I am done at the start of Ark. I can use this to go anywhere. What I'm probably gonna do is go tame some Therizinos and start breeding them to mutate for boss fights in the future. But realistically, you can tame anything. You can go tame your Quetzals, you can tame some Rexes, you can use this to tame Gigas even. This kibble right here can be used for every creature pretty much on the island, except for a very rare few. Um, so I'm going to end the video here, I think. I mean, I could go on for days and days and days. If you guys would like me to continue on, maybe I could do a part two. Please let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, if you enjoyed this or you found it informative, um, please hit that thumbs up button. It does help me out a lot. You can subscribe to the channel for some more videos in the future. That'd be great, too. Let's get that number pumped up. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. This is Bikes Out.